Hi, I'm Leah, and welcome to In the Garage. Today we're with Toby. Hi! He makes works of art right here in his garage. When I go out to shows, I do some farmer's markets, and I have a little portable wheel, and I'll set up a little sign and throw a pot with a potter for a couple of bucks. I get quite a line that way, even with the goatee and the long hair, and some kids are real standoffish, but as soon as one does it, they see it's okay, and then I'll get a line. Well, hello, I'm Toby with Ben Looney Pottery. I make mushrooms, what I consider works of art, in the garage. This is my little teeny pouring mushroom room. I've got my liquid clay right here, which is called slip, an air actuated diaphragm pump. It'll pull the slip out of the bucket. It'll go up this pipe, across the ceiling, and then I've got a vinyl tube here hooked up to my nozzle, which I pull the trigger on and allow the mushrooms to fill. Now that's an air actuated diaphragm compressor. That's just right where I like them. You let them sit so the clay can coalesce to the plaster wall. The handle pushes down this lever, which squeezes the clay out the bottom of the extruder. Push down on this handle. Push down on it? Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. That will be the stem for our mushroom. The next step is we just lay the stem down on something flat, hold your hand on a slight angle, and roll under your hand with a little Plus bit of downward off. pressure. Oh, that didn't turn out so well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a third grader did it. And I will stamp my Ben Looney name into the stem. We're ready to vacuum out the mushroom. Pretty strong. Stick the stem in that excess slip. Okay, so once it's done drying, you can just grab it, flip it upside down. Ah, and there it is. It. Under here, under my homemade chain link awning, I've got my bisque kilns. So I'll load up my mushrooms and my pottery in the kiln. It's like Star Trek down here on the automatic one. I can't get her any hotter, Captain. After bisque, we bring everything back in here and we glaze them. The glaze is what gives the pot its pretty color when it's all finished and fired. And I mix all of my own glazes. Boy. You just use your bare hands? Yeah. Take it off, let it drip for a minute. It dries fast. Yeah. Oh, this glaze does stink. It smells like. Smells a little like rotten eggs. Uh, smells like, yeah, smells like my grandma. Okay, so now we've got a dual colored bowl. A little extra flair to our piece. We're gonna just streak some other glaze colors on just the darker side of the bowl because they don't look good on the, on the spodumen side. The secret is in these fancy high-tech bottles. <laughs> when it fires, it does turn to glass and it, and it becomes very liquid and the glaze will actually flow, a little bit like lava does. When I die, I'd like to be cremated in my kiln so I can haunt it for the next person that has my kiln. <laughs> so, if you see this kiln on Craigslist sometime soon, do not buy it. <laughs> so when I have the correct atmosphere in the kiln, this is what I get. Do you do this full-time? I do now. So how long have you been doing it full-time? Full-time about about six months. Was that a scary leap to take? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, I was uh, a plumber before this. <laughs> so I am a plumotter. 